Hello, boys and girls. How are you? Well, here we are. We're ready for lesson nine in chapter seven from Go Math. Today's main goal or objective is for you to be able to identify equivalent expressions. So remember, an expression is a problem with no equal sign. And yes, it does include an, a variable. They're going to give you two expressions and you have to say, are they equal or not? Okay, so how are we gonna do this? The way we do it is we have to use a distributive property. We have to combine like terms. So let's take a look at the first one. We have seven Y plus parentheses X plus three Y parentheses. Stop there. Will you see the word and? We're just gonna ignore the rest for now, okay? Because I'm just gonna focus on this expression. We're gonna do what I taught you yesterday. We have to use the distributive property and combine like terms. So here we go. Can I combine X and three Y? No, can't combine it. They don't have the same variable. So what I'm going to do is I know that outside this parentheses, even though it's not there, there's an invincible one. And I'm gonna multiply that invincible one with everything inside the house using the distributive property. I'm gonna put that invincible one right there. And what happens is we do one times X and I get one X. Let me bring everything else down before we continue. 7y plus 1x, now 1 times 3y is plus 3y. So I stop here, and now I'm going to look at all the terms and see if I can combine like terms. 7y and 3y are alike, so I'm going to combine them. I'm going to write 7y plus 3y plus 1x. I can combine 7 plus 3y is 10y, so I'm going to write 10y plus one X. Can I do anything else with this? No, I can't because they don't have like terms. Okay, now that I'm done there, I'm gonna box around it. I'm gonna move forward, it says here, and. Now I'm gonna compare it to the next expression. So the next expression, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use distributive property, I'm gonna combine like terms and see what I get. 10Y plus X, can I combine anything? No, there's nothing I can combine. So it's just gonna stay like that. Now I can just go ahead and compare. I can compare 10y compared to plus x. Let's compare them. Is this 10y plus 1x? Is 1x the same thing as just x? Yes, it's 1x. It's just I have 1x. So they are completely equal. My final final answer has to be uh, expressions are equal. So either I could just put, uh, I can just write expressions are equal. This is my final answer, okay? Done. Let's try the next one. Problem number two. 10 parentheses M plus N and where I see and I'm gonna ignore it. Ignore the rest for now. Distributive property because I see that there's parentheses. And so the 10 is standing outside the house, knocking on the door, get a lot of besitos. So 10 times M becomes 10 M plus 10 times n. You notice I'm putting those arrows. Do that on your paper. Put those arrows. 10 n. I there's nothing else I can do. I cannot combine m and n. They're two totally different variables, which means there's mysterious numbers behind those variables that are totally different. Can't combine them. So the answer stays like this. Well, part of the answer. Okay. Next one. I have 10 m plus n. I can't do anything else. I have m and n. They're different variables. I can't combine like terms. So I'm comparing this expression with this expression. Are they alike? Let's go through it carefully. This has 10M and this has 10M. Check and check. So far they're alike. Plus and plus. So far they're alike. 10N and just N. Is that the same? No, they're not the same. So we're gonna put here not equal. They are not equal. And that's my final answer. All right, boys and girls. Good luck.